TV.com and today is show number seven. Today we're going to share another muscle testing and kinesiology tip with you and we also have a special guest interview with Michael O'Doherty from the Plexus Bioenergy Systems from Ireland. So we're going to get to our tip in just a second but first let's take a look at that interview with Michael O'Doherty. Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and today we're here with Michael O'Doherty. He is co-founder of the Plexus Bioenergy Technique Correct. and Michael's going to tell us a little, little bit about that. Yeah, well Andrew, uh, basically what, I suppose what science has established over many years now is that uh, the primary cause of disease is a breakdown within the energy system of the body and uh, what we have developed within the Plexus Healthcare System are techniques to manipulate the energetic structure in a specific way. And um, over the years, of course, you know, we have advanced the techniques, but they're all designed to stimulate a reaction within the body that ultimately that if we can, you know, re-establish the flow of energy in a specific way that the intelligence implicit in that can, you know, basically allow the body to recover or to heal. Great. And Michael has also had some excellent results with some uh, celebrities, including Michael Flatley from yeah, Orphan Dance. Well, yeah, over the years we've treated quite a bit. Because we've been doing this 20 years now, Andrew, you know, we have had you know, lots of celebrities that have come to our clinics and uh, you know, it's always great to get the celebrities because they endorse it and I suppose the most recent uh, international kind of recognition that we've got and uh, which has been on the worldwide media was as a result of Michael Flatley's condition. He had a very rare uh, viral condition and um, it was medically untreatable even. Uh, so you know, he asked us to he asked us to see if we could do something, and uh, resulting in him fully recovering now. So um, yeah, it, it's amazing, you know, when you see it responding. But of course, you know, while you do see celebrities, I mean, where we see some of the most greatest successes often with children, mm -hmm. and, and that's where the, often the judge of this work comes about because mm -hmm. you see children coming. You know, the energy work is, is, is the, the language that they understand, and uh, yeah, it's amazing to see them responding as well. We find in our work also that children seem to respond. They seem to just intuitively, naturally pick it up. There hasn't been any previous programming. Yeah, and it's true. And, you know, children are very, very open. But I think we're in a we're in a, in a situation now where you know the, the world today is shifting in consciousness, and we're awakening to a whole new reality. There's a whole new being emerging, and and, and, and the emergence of this new being is, is 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 in some way looking to communicate at a different level than the way we did in the past. And you know, we're beginning to realize the importance of resonating at all levels, at a multi-dimensional level. We see the importance of connecting with our emotions and transforming our emotions. We see the importance of our mental attitude. We see the importance of our thoughts and how they affect our physiology. We see the importance of our digestive system in the absorption of nutrients. So, you know, the whole, I suppose recently I, I, I was reading an article in the, um, I think it was in the, in the Washington, I think it was the New York Times, I'm not sure it was in one of those papers. Actually, it was in the Wall Street Journal, sorry. And, uh, you know, they were talking about, you know, the way forward in healthcare is integration and where we create an integrated healthcare system that works. But that ultimately that the results come about when people make a simple shift in their lives, mm -hmm. you know, with working with the energy, working with muscles, working with diet, working with the spine, taking practical steps to confront their problems in a very simple way is often what brings about the merit that the people are trying to achieve. Exactly. And what Michael does with his system is the way that we've been practicing for many, many years, which is one reason why we want to mm -hmm to promote his system, promote his work, and the link to his website is below the video here on our website, and that is www.plexusbioenergy-.com. Okay. Okay, so it's actually www.plexusbio-energy.com, but just Great. Plexus Bioenergy will get it. Okay, and uh, one another reason we wanted to feature Michael today is because they actually use kinesiology and muscle testing as part of their technique. Yeah, I think ultimately the, the, the success of any ther therapy, uh, Andrew, as you know, is the, your ability to diagnose. And when people come to our clinics, uh, and even to like yourself, it is important that we have techniques that can in some way give us a feedback from the client. Mm -hmm. And I think when you look at you know the potential of, of bioenergy or kinesiology or any of these types of uh, integrated approaches, 
you're getting information from the client that the client mightn't even know is going on. Exactly. Because sometimes, uh, as you know, particularly when you're working with kinesiology, and we see it as a crucial part of our overall program, that uh, when you're working with kinesiology, that where you're doing muscle testing, but it's not just muscle testing, it's that you're, you're applying a technique through the muscles to pick up information that's going on, stored somewhere. And, and that's what it's all about. It's all about accessing information. Unfortunately, within the medical uh, science uh, perspective, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of reacting to symptoms and trying to stimulate symptoms. But ultimately, if a problem begins, you know, six generations ago, or if a problem begins six years ago, you know, medical science are not going to be able to identify that in the blood test. So, you know, I think science has evolved to realizing that, you know, that we store a lot of information within the muscles, we store a lot of emotional stress, but more than that, we store a lot of information within the muscular skeletal structure of our body. And to be able to ascertain information and to be able to do certain types of uh, protocols, working with muscles that can give you a feedback from what's going on, because it's the patient's subconscious that's giving you that information. Right. Right. They're not consciously aware, but their subconscious right. is trying to tell you this. Right. So you're picking it up. You know, you're making the correction, and as a result of that correction, the body's recalibrating itself and it's healing, and it's often very simple like that, which is great. Great. Well, Michael, thank you very much for being here with My us pleasure. today. Keep up and the good work. Thank you. Make sure you check out uh, Michael's website, which you see listed uh, below the video here on our site, and you can find out about Michael's training courses at his website, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Absolutely. All right. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you, indeed. Thank you. Okay, so that was our interview with Michael O'Doherty from Plexus Bioenergy Systems. You can take a look at that link right below here on the website. And also, your muscle testing and kinesiology tip for today is one of our 21 muscle testing do's and don'ts that we teach in our live workshops and seminars and that we also teach in our home study course. So the, one of the things that we want to teach you today is when you're doing muscle testing and kinesiology, you want to make sure if you're testing with an arm muscle that when you test with the arm muscle you want to have the arm parallel to the ground or even lower if you're going to use an alternate uh, position for muscle testing what we found is that a lot of people when they start testing sometimes they raise the arm up too high and that's not a good mechanical position I could go on for, for, for many reasons why that's not a good mechanical position but it's difficult for the tester to get an accurate result. It's difficult for the testee when their arm starts cranking up. I recently went to a seminar with a very fine doctor who had a very fine uh, technique and a great system, but for some strange reason, he would have people's arm way up here when he tested them, and that's not what we teach and that's not what we recommend. So if you're going to try your, this muscle testing and kinesiology and you're practicing at home, make sure that you leave the arm, you have the arm parallel to the ground or a little bit lower. Once, you start, once the arm starts creeping up and raising too high, it decreases your accuracy and your reliability and your results aren't going to be what you want. So that's your tip for today. And I want you to remember that I'm just giving you a little bit of a tip here. We go into a lot more detail when we're teaching our live workshops and seminars and when we're teaching our home study course. But, you know, I want you to remember our motto here at MuscleTestingTV.com is you are the source of your own happiness. Please use these tips that we give you here at MuscleTestingTV.com. Use muscle testing and kinesiology to improve your life and the, and the lives of those around you. Okay, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.